Today we celebrate St. Basil the Great. Holiness ran in Basil's family. His father, mother, several siblings, and his grandmother were all venerated as saints, but he holds his own among them. He was an outstanding teacher of the faith who founded what was probably the first monastery in Asia Minor. Born into a wealthy family in Asia Minor in the year 329, Basil was well-educated and seemed destined for a career as a teacher of rhetoric. But after studying various modes of religious life, he was baptized, took up the life of a monk, was ordained a priest, and ultimately became an archbishop. Arianism, the heresy that denied the divinity of Christ, was at its height. The emperor attempted to allow heretics to receive communion. Basil remained firm, and the emperor backed down. But the times were turbulent, and internal dissension was everywhere. Basil was often misunderstood and misrepresented, and was even accused of heresy himself, but he remained a tireless and devoted pastor and bishop. Basil was designated the Great at a church council in 379, 72 years after his death. Almost 1,200 years later, he was proclaimed a doctor of the church.